in this video i am going to explain about the sorting the table or rows so what is it means that here actually this table contains the world number 1 company names and the their brand values in billions in the dollars so apple uh, company brand value is 145.3 billion dollars microsoft is 69.3 google is 65.5 65.6 billion dollars now i want to sort the yeah, company names along with the, with the alphabet letters so now i am clicking on the name field at the time company names are arranged in the alphabet letter now i want to sort the brand values in the a uh, descending order sorry ascending order so i am clicking on the brand value at the time these are arranged in the ascending order okay by default it is the this page is in descending order okay by default it is in a descending order so how i i write the this code or program using the we have the one directive is there that is called the ngfn click directive by adding the ngfn click directive on the table headers we can run a function that changes the sorting order of an array that changes the sorting order of the array in indian currencies 1 billion equals to 1 billion dollars equals to 6000 rows okay 6000 rows uh, rupees right now so for that purpose i created the one multi dimensional array it means a two dimensional array my array name is names on that i store the i store the name value pair brand name is apple brand value is 145.3 so i store the nearly 100 company names nearly 100 company names here after that i created the one development on development on that my app name is my app and controller name is names ctrl after that i, I took the one table with the border is one and the width is 100% in the tr first tr i assign the table headers so first table header name is name second table header is brand value in a billion dollars so on that th tag i called the i called the directive ngfn click directive and that i called the one function my order and the parameter is brand name on the second ng um, second hundred uh, heading ngfn click my my function name is my order and brand value so parameter is brand value so what is the my order function it is created by the our cell phone only my order so here in the here actually dollar scope dot my order here my order is the one function function of x so dollar scope dot dollar scope dot f order equals to x dollar scope dot f order equals to x so what is the here what is my function my order function my in, in the my order function what is what i am sending so first iteration first iteration i am sending the brand name okay here x value is the brand name after that the dollar scope dot f order equals to brand, uh, brand name so here in that tr elements ngf or no i repeat it to x in the names order by f order okay order by f order whenever you are clicking on the ngf and click at that time uh, the value brand name is goes into the our my order function and it returns the f order is order by class okay it reflects the order order by okay here order by is our filter okay we have the so many filters are there so 
what is the order by order by order and array by an expression okay order by order and array by an expression so here order by is f order what is the f order value so f order value is in the if you are clicking in the first heading at the time f order value is brand name second time f order value is brand value okay brand name and a brand value these are the properties okay like this way we can sort the elements of the table okay apple this one if i am clicking on the name field what is the name field in the name header what is my back end code in the name header my back end code is mjf and click equals to a my other brand name so this brand name is saved in the function okay my other function is x value so what is the scope of f order what is the f order value here brand name so brand name here order by so using the pipe symbol order by brand name okay so thanks for listening and remember one thing in the previous videos i explained the how to uh, how to uh, how to display the our array elements in the list list okay here now i was here in this example how to we are displaying the our array elements in the table okay so first of all i took the one table header and after that uh, and the second tier i first tier is x dot brand name second tier is the s dot brand value td means the table data tier means the table row if you have any doubts in the tables uh, please watch my html and css uh, training videos